spectacular fish, these bass. It's a bit of an angry crab right there. Oh yes! Welcome back to the channel people. Thank you for joining me in beautiful South Devon. The sun's out, bit of a westerly wind and I've just chucked Jamie and Cammie in the water behind me here by these rocks. The tide really does sweep along here and then go into Salkham, up the mouth there. So this can be a really, really good spot for, for sea bass. So I'm hoping they might get their first fish here, first dive of the day. I'll pop the drone up too, because there's some really nice scenery. And uh, Missy's here. We're gonna do a bit of foraging later on. It's low tide at three o'clock. It's about half past 11 now. So leisurely start on this Sunday morning. Thanks for joining. Hope I can show you some good stuff. Well done. Look at that, Missy. <laughs> what do you see, Missy? Good work. Yeah. Show me your fish, Cammy. The luckiest shot ever as well. <laughs> I saw the go behind, it was like... <laughs> Let's see it. Look at that. Good shot, mate. <laughs> oh, it's such a buzz being able to drop the boys on the spots and having them pull in the goods. The spectacular fish, these bass. I hope Kami lets me cook that one for lunch. What a beauty. I'm gonna venture off to try and get some scallops now and then it's lunchtime. We are heading that way. I've just entrusted Jamie and Cammy with the rib, but uh, Jamie is a skipper, so we're all good. He's gonna be fine, and they're just gonna head out into the bay. Missy and I, we're just gonna have a bit of a forage about, see what we can find here. It's not a very low, ooh, Missy, Missy, just relax. It's not a very low tide today, but we'll see, we might find something. Now you guys can't say I don't take care of Missy here. Look what I've packed for her. Missy, look at this. <laughs> I've brought you your food because I knew we'd have a long day. <laughs> Good dog. Right, here you go. And Missy, come on in. Anything in the cave? Look at that. It's the apron of a spider crab. It's funny that these beaches that aren't accessed at all by people do tend to carry the most litter because there's never anyone here to clear it up. Fishing gear is just the worst really. A few nice stones here. I think Missy and I will turn over a couple and see what the general life is like here. Oh. Yeah, there's an in Missy, back off. There's an interesting pair. This guy with the crazy red eyes is a velvet swimming crab. But I've never seen one of these out foraging before. This is a spiny squat lobster. Oh, I'm really pleased to find one of those because that might be the closest we get to a lobster today. In the water you can't really appreciate all the blues and reds and oranges on the claws and carapace. And those really slender antennae are amazing. That is an amazing find. Let's flip him over. See him flipping his, uh, flicking his tail back? Swims just like a lobster. 
back in his home. Be quite happy under that rock, really carefully. Put this big rock back. Well, just turned over this rock. You can see these crabs here are called furrowed crabs. We've got sand gaper shell. And if you look really closely down here, be really quite careful of them because as their name suggests, brittle stars are quite brittle. They're very mobile, these brittle stars. They really can kind of wrap their arms around stuff and move quite quickly, starfish go. Lovely starfish. There's a few brittle stars there. I'm gonna put the stone back really carefully. There we go. You see that? That is a strawberry anemone. There's another one just there. Look a bit like strawberries. And they're anemones. Just found this awesome little cave. Hear the water sloshing in through there. Just seen here. If I can pick this up to show you. It's an absolutely beautiful painted top shell. Stunning, stunning shells. And uh, nice to see a living example on that rock. It's really, really, I mean, it looks tropical. Beautiful, beautiful shells. Oh, and there's hard shell clam as well. Let's keep going. People often message me asking how to find good scallop spots. A great starting point is just to do some coastal foraging. And when you come across a beach that has the shells, just fin out a couple of hundred yards and dive. Scallops will be there. Who lives in the hole? Hello, Mr. Brown Crab. Decent sized brown crab in there. I'm not putting my hand in behind it. That. <laughs> These uh, ones that they clamp down on your hands, you can lose a lot of skin. I've learned the hard way before. Missy's just wait there, please. I'm just on this huge boulder and I'm just gonna work along the edge of it here because the brown crabs and lobsters tend to be tucked into these little alcoves on the sides of these rocks. Actually looks like quite a decent sized brown. Oh, that was a real battle between man and crab. <laughs> he was pretty angry. So this is the brown crab, also known as the edible crab. When you see crab on the menu in the UK, 99% of the time it's going to be this guy, the brown crab, Cancer Pagarus. It's got this uh, lovely pie crust shell. Minimum size is 14 uh, centimeters across here, and that is definitely legal. Back he goes. We got enough fish for lunch, so I put him back in his hole and he can continue growing and maybe I'll see him in a few years time when he's a bit bigger. <laughs> Home time. Wow, these two are very sort of high out of the water. A pair of brown crabs. One of them, yeah, is soft. So that one down there below that one has a soft shell. She's just molted. Then if you can see my finger pressing it, she's really soft. And the male, he's guarding her. Well, we'll leave those two lovebirds to it. You see the fish in the water? 
they are probably baby pollock and it's absolutely flat calm here now absolutely flat calm beautiful Missy and I had a wonderful time just looking for crabs and lobsters in those rocks. Didn't find any uh, lobsters, but loads of good brown crabs around and legal sizes as well. But we've got enough food to eat. We've got some scallops, we've got a lovely bass. So we're gonna cook those for lunch. Tammy and uh, Jamie have come back in from their little scallop mission. Boat is safely anchored. They're just having a little dive to see what they can find around the rocks here. Meanwhile, I'm going to light the fire. I'm going to wrap the bass in kelp. I got some kelp over there. Okay, here we go. Let's cover it with sand. Kiss me, please. Dinner's ready. This could be quite hot. Would you like me to do it with my gloves? Please. <laughs> so, basically, I would really like the fish to be here, ready to serve you guys dinner. Are we on camera? Yeah, let's go on camera. Excellent. Okay. No pressure. But it might be quite well cooked, it might fall apart, so in an ideal world. Oh, yes! Oh yeah. Thank you, Jamie. I think it's good. Look at that. Yeah, it looks all right, that. Delicious. I left the scales on to protect it as well, so it can just be peeled off and... Who's going to do the first taste test? You can do the honest Jerry PK. Of uh, a sulcum caught bass. I'll tell you what, I'll just put it all on here and we can have a yep. sharing platter. Yeah, That look nice. Specular. Have a taste. Mm, can't wait. Can't wait. Mm. Oh. Mm. Yeah, yeah, sure. That is not overcooked. That's perfect. perfect. <laughs> and this guy's a very good cook. Mm. Very delicious. Um, I'm really pleased with that. Mm. It's my second time using the sand oven as well, so yeah, well, very pleased. Don't need anything to keep using it. Come on, Cammy, dig in. Miss it a lot. It's Bob. Oh, that's really good, actually. Cool. I call that a success. Mm. Very much so. It's so much better having just these walls all day mm. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm well impressed. I really am. Can't hold this for a bit. Thank you. You like bass? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she does. Can see why, don't you? Yeah. Absolutely immense. Wow. Licking the plate clean. <laughs> I would say today has been a fantastic success. Explored the shore, found crabs, found anemones, starfish. It was cool to see Cami get his first bass in a long time and that was delicious. I think I nailed it with the cooking. I'm very pleased weeks. about that. Hey? It was only a few weeks. <laughs> I really like the sand oven trick. I think 
putting um, restarting the fire on top of the sand just to make sure you maintain that heat throughout so yeah it was awesome really awesome not quite sure what we're going to do now but you know thanks for joining and uh, if there's any more adventure I'll let you know.